Hi, it's Dr. Steve Weiner, and I want to show you an ultrasound finding of an interesting case that came into the office recently. So this patient had cannula injection of lift in her mid-cheek area, in the prezygomatic space, as well as in the deep medial cheek fat pad. And she said she's had pressure in that area, but is gradually getting better. And I wanted to see what the ultrasound findings were. So let me show you what the ultrasound shows. So for orientation, the white areas are bone, okay? And you see that the bone is continuous and continuous, but there's a break in the bone right here. So that's the infraorbital foramen, the area where the, both the nerve and the artery exit the skull. And what you also see around this area is black ovals. And the black ovals represent HA filler. New HA filler is represented as black or anechoic. It's because it has a lot of water content. So what you see is a lot of fillers surrounding the infraorbital foramen and nerve. Is this causing her symptoms? It's very difficult to say. Are they getting better? Yes. So what I would probably do in these cases is just follow it and see if the patient gets better. But if they're not getting better, I would consider actually injection of hyaluronidase in the area around the infraorbital foramen to dissolve some of the HA filler. Maybe it's gonna improve her symptoms, maybe not. I'm gonna show you one other ultrasound as well. So this is the vascular ultrasound. And so this confirms that this is the infraorbital foramen and infraorbital artery. And um, so you can see that the HA filler is around the foramen and artery. Again, this probably happens all the time, but we just don't know it. The HA filler is best placed along the periosteum, which it is right here. So that's a good thing. But sometimes maybe, maybe it's irritating the infraorbital nerve and needs to be dissolved slightly. So we'll see. I'll give you a follow-up in the future.